Hey love bugs, it's Riles and back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you getting to know me and um if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe of uplift please go ahead give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas the blessing i mean the curse of being you is the blessing of being you and it's true because a lot of times we you know i even said that and i've heard other people say it. it's like being ourselves is like a blessing and a curse and it's just it gets to that point where when we live we grow you know we self-assess we reflect we heal um, we show gratitude, admiration, and appreciation, all that, you know, song and jazz. We'll tend to start seeing that that curse created that blessing. And a lot of times it's like, how can you sit up here and say a, a curse can turn into a blessing? And it's like, you know, you can go through things where you have major setbacks. You know, you could be a person that has been abused in every kind of way possible. You can have been a person that is homelessness. Um, you've been abandoned, you've been neglected. Those are different things. Um, and it can, you know, um, it can create a path or where it can take you um, towards, you know, a, a, a big, beautiful life that was, you know, that exact situation brought you on a path of purpose or it can take you down a winding road of, you know, oblivion, self-destruction, all those things. It's just always about the choices we choose to make within those situations. And, you know, being a curse, it, it, it's like being a curse is impasse. We feel everything on a deeper level. And it's, a lot of times you, it, it's just like, and it just seems like the more you tend to clear, the more sensitive it gets. And I noticed that it, it'll be certain things that if I see it's about to put me in a funky mood, like it can depend on like if I'm watching something on uh, YouTube or Tubi or something like that. And I see myself... Uh, like really catching it like oh okay this is gonna be something that's gonna trigger me out of my whole mood of peace i was trying to sit up here and be entertained but this is gonna be something that's gonna take me back to a place that i already gonna close the door on you know and those different things because right now when i'm seeing it it's like I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people that's going through like different walks and it's like i'm, I'm it could be you know you're physically walking or it can be a dream like you're going down this path you can be in in a uh, preserve you can be in um, a canyon because I see you know it was a couple of people I'm like hey why I keep seeing these people in canyons and um, you're just in and when I see it it represents you finding yourself you know you had to go to where everything was stripped down everything is nothingness or you're finding yourself um, in, in nature when you, when you're, you feel yourself connecting to every element the, the birds, the trees, the flowers, the trees um, uh, birds, the bees, the flowers and the trees you know the different animals that are out there all these different things and it, it just depends on how what subliminal you're getting out of that and there's a lot of times we're going through that the spiritual awakening the dark night of the soul and a, a lot of us are facing dark night of the soul and I mean it, it is like no other right about now you know you you probably agree with that you're probably dealing with something like it is like when it you you thought you healed from things but it's like even when you did it'll re it'll take you right back down to that path of telling you okay let's get down to that deeper subject of why this happened it could be a touchy subject that you finally allowed yourself to make peace with and i just noticed when i was doing it in the video the video i just did before this when it was like talk, stop expecting you uh through other people um, and it guided me to talk about my situation to a certain extent and then it, it made me just when I finished it was just like girl I'm so proud of you you were able to speak on it but you were speaking on it in a therapeutic way you were speaking on it in a way where it didn't have any animosity you didn't have any hatred you didn't have any anger you spoke on it with peace and you didn't your energy didn't change but it's like when it did it, it gave you power you know, and it's not power as like poking the bear because I know uh, a lot of my family uh, watches my videos. I know a lot of people that don't care for me watch my videos. And I'm like, it's all good. You know, it, it's all support. It's all views. So it doesn't matter to me. But, you know, d dealing with that, you know, it gives me power when I can allow myself to say I can speak on my situation. 
and being able to pass that down to people because there's a lot of times we deal with things in our life that can be very, very detrimental, very dramatic, very traumatic. And it's a lot of times it's hard for you to shake that vibration off. It's hard for you to shake that burden off, that anger. You know, it is like, it reminds me of the movie. Anybody ever seen the movie Spit on Your Grave? And I was like, anytime I see that movie, it's just what happens to them on those parts. If you know what I'm talking about, but I ain't going to be able to say it here. And not wanting to, you know, by guidelines and just, I, I just don't touch that. But um, it was like when those things happen homegirl just went and she just went ham on every single one that helped cause that and that was a it, and it felt like a curse to her you know she was never the same after that and I, I can truly understand you know truly understand I, I, I can relate to that in so many different ways but um it, it's just like when you have gone through those different things in your life and it, it will make you go back to it and you know universe knows it took you a lot to make you to help you heal from that curse but then when they feel like you're at that that moment that pinnacle in your life where you can go back and this is showing you why you had to go through that why did this happen to you what was the cause and effect what was the purpose behind that what's the subliminal and when those things happen it oh it broadens your perspective out within your life within the people that was connected with it with the situation was connected with it when it comes to you and it'll be one of those mind blowers like it, it'll be like one of those movies you watch and it's like matter of fact for incident it remind me of um the book of eli the <laughs> one that just made me think about that the book of eli when that happened and it was just like when I seen that movie and you got to the very end and you understood it when I say it was a mind blower. Anybody ever watched the book of Eli? That's why I ain't gonna say that. You know, I ain't gonna get no spoilers. But anybody who haven't seen that movie and it came across your, you know, came across your your attention, please go watch that movie. When I tell you that is a good movie, I love Denzel. He he made me because I know I just finished watching Fallen the other day. I was like, time is on my side. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know, every time I hear that song, it made me, always made my scared crawl because it made me go back to that movie. But it, it was like when I watched that movie, when I say that movie was so mind-blowing to me, I'm like, it was a WTF moment. Like, are you serious? This is what this was this whole time. But then it'll make you think about your life because you feel like your life is cursed. You feel like you're cursed. You feel like you're tainted. You're jaded. You're unlovable. All those different things. And these are the different things that's telling you this is not true. A lot of times we had to get to that point to where you find that love for yourself regardless if it was you know if it wasn't placed on you if, if it wasn't you know comforted to you you know you didn't feel that this is at that time where you're gonna find that love for yourself you're gonna love yourself so much harder and you're gonna be so selective after that and that that becomes your blessing that you went through these things there's a deep rooted reason why you had to go through these things and a lot of times it can feel like life ain't fair you know these are things because there'll be sometimes I'll be hearing different stories well, it, it always touches my heart because I can truly relate to people that connect with me on that level where they tell me Roz and I went through this this and this and that and there'll be sometimes that you know with me and, and my intuitive when I connect with that person it'll allow me to have flashes about certain things they go through so I can have a deeper understanding about them but that curse in me is that It'll show me why that person is so closed off. It'll show me why that person is doubtful. Why that person lacks confidence or lack love for themselves, or it's hard for them to trust people. And it'll give me that understanding why they're like that. And that's the curse of me because I don't like that. You know, because I feel like that's violating. So I have to put, place a shield up and like, hey. and I'll tell them too. I'm like, hey, I saw some stuff that I didn't want to see. You know, and I'll just give them a snippet and I said, hey, I stopped it right there because I felt like that that's a, a part of the Pandora's box. I'm not opening. Let them do that if they want to tell me that's violating to me. I've been violated before. I don't like that, you know, so I don't like it. You know, I don't want to do somebody like they like it's been done to me. But when you go through your situation and a lot of times it takes an extended period, extended period for you to be able to heal off a lot of things that has been placed on your on your on your on your person on your path and you trying to get to that root of that problem why am I like this you know why do I keep attracting these type of people why do I have luck like this 
and it's just like you, you, you that that becomes your blessing because when you go to the core of it you know because a lot of times we, we'll get into that victim mode and there are a lot of times where it can be so damaging to our lives that you you just can't find your way out of it like and you live that way you stay that way you know i've seen people that they have gone through that you know shoot i've gone through it for a long time and it was just like you you become you you don't create your own blessing out of that even though we're all a blessing in our own way but it's showing you you can create your own blessing you are a blessing even though you may have gone through certain things into your life that was very you know very dark very dark you don't know by the generous choices that you're making to become a better person not to allow this to defile you don't allow this to define you whatever you know and create a better person like I am going to be powerful I am going to be rich in my abundance in every way I'm prosperous in every way just because this happened to me this is, does not form me it transformed me it didn't form me into whatever happened to me it's transforming me to be a better person and that that becomes that you know um, our mishaps are our greatest teachers when we go through different things like this you know we, we have our ups and downs we got our highs and lows our good and our bads you know we, we make you know poor decisions you know we 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 trust the wrong people you know different stuff like that happens you know but this is where the lessons truly come in at you had to be able to go through these things you you had to be able to learn these lessons you know and it gets to that point become you become a baddie you know when you come to a baddie because it's like if I, I if I think about it I think about a person that's just been neglected in so many ways they 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 felt like they were not love was not was the diet to them they couldn't have it and not realizing that person had to be able to place love into themselves and when you place love into yourself like that you'll identify with what true love really is you know true identify with what true love really is it and you become hated by a lot of people that can't manipulate you because there's a whole lot of manipulators out there they want to be oh you're beautiful and oh you're you know you're handsome and oh you know you do this and do that you know to try to get in your head they want to fill up that ego you know and it's just like that's what they always tell us to tell our children you know they're beautiful they're smart you know they're they can be admired they will be admired they can do anything they want to do whatever dream you want to do you want to be a president you can be a president if you want to be a superhero you can be a superhero you know there's no dream that's ever too big and when we start embedding that into our children hold hold respect for yourself hold love for yourself you know and do those things we teach them that at a younger age we wouldn't have half of the problems that we have now you know and it, it it when when you instill that into your children and do that then you'll you won't be into that cursed vibration sometimes it happens just for a life lesson to be able to understand hey being a danger you know especially when it comes to certain people be in a danger of uh, uh be alert for these type of people you know do that i know there was one what was oh what was it was it like crime files or I forgot which one it was or uh, the unseen I forgot it was one of the crime shows I had and when I tell you I was sitting there crying and it was beautiful it was powerful but it was just like to know what that baby went through you know and it was a girl I forgot what she was in Dickerson Texas I think that's what it was and it was a really little town and where they stayed at wasn't a really good neighborhood and it was like and I know it killed the mama for that but the one time she begged her mom you know hey can you come sleep with me I don't want to be in the dark I don't want to be there and then she was like no you can sleep by yourself you know you're eight years old you should be able to do that and she kept on begging her mom please you know once you do this and they said you know um I think the man snuck into her house it was like a window that was open or something like that he snuck into her house um put chloroform over, over her face or something like that and told her you know hey I'm the police officer you know your mom had left and she told me to come get you know come you know take you out and she's gonna come pick you up and you know, she know the man's up here chain smoking and stuff like that. But she noticed he, he was just like, uh, I think he had on like a fake police police uniform or he was out of uniform or something like that. But she knew there was something about him, you know, because mom always told about stranger danger and stuff like that. But next, you know, the man took her to the fields and, you know, had his way with her. And uh, he um, unalived her, as they say now, unalived her. And they, you know, did that and he left her there. And it just so happened. I mean, this, I mean, the girl was, 
you know, they didn't want to get into great detail with that. And I'm like, thank God, because I had flashes about it. So I pretty much knew what happened to her. And that, you know, it angered me, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, kids. You know, I have a grandbaby almost close to that age, you know. So it was just like the girl, it was hard for her to talk, you know. And it's just like, and it was sad because when they found her, I think they found her like, two or three days later I don't know it was like a blessing from God as long as she was out there I can't remember as long as she was out there I think it was somebody walking in that you know the dog found her and then they went and called the cops and stuff and they found her out there in the middle of the field you know and that was just God all over that but it was like the girl I guess it like messed up her larynx and stuff like that but the way that the extensive damage it was she finally got her her voice back you know and when she went through that and cops coming in she started freaking out because she was just like she, it was hard for her she didn't t she couldn't talk to men she didn't want no man around her she started freaking out then when she saw the cops it was like the mom had to be there and the mom had to talk to the cops like they couldn't be in the room they had to pass notes and stuff to her because the girl you know she she went to a complex and you know and it's sad but the, the baby was really that traumatized for her but ever since then it was like she couldn't talk she had to draw she had to give descriptions of this and this and that they had to be able to talk like you know when when she was doing it like they went you know they were like leave i guess it was like they left the door open and they were talking loud enough for her to hear and the mom had to go back and tell them you know this and this and that or whatever uh and draw that out but now she's of age you know she's like in her 20s and stuff like that uh, 20s no I think she's in her 30s now because this happened and she was like she gave the description down of everything and she was like I was determined to find this man and I think he had just got out of prison for doing something to somebody else like that and left him for dead and um and uh next you know she found him and she went through that and it was like 18 years later she found that dude and that became her uh, a thing. You know, she felt like she was cursed. But that girl showed so much strength and so much resilience when she did that. And it was just like, just, you know, you're a mother, you know. And, and any parent, when something like that happened, you feel like you didn't protect your kids enough. You felt like, where did you go wrong? Or stuff like that. But, you know, seeing something like that, it, it made her, you know, feel like a curse in some sort. But then it was just the blessing is that you were able to get your voice back. You were able to move on. You know, she ended up getting married. But it was like, uh, when people heard her story about what was going on, she wasn't able to have kids. But, you know, because of that situation that happened to her when she was little, he messed her up. But they ended up reversing that. And she ended up having two kids, thank God. And it, that ended up being her blessing for that. So it's just like when you have gone through something in your life. And I mean, it can be very dark. It can be very bad. And it's just like when you're you're looking for some kind of salvation, some kind of redemption, you can get it. It's not easy. And not easy whatsoever. But this is at that time when you dive deep. You get a mutual understanding of yourself. Because a lot of times we don't get that clarity of why we went through those certain things. And you know what you have gone through in life. And it, it can hit you deep. You know. Um, and you're really fighting to have that peace within your life because it'll make you feel like you were cursed. Like, you know, if God loved me, why did he allow these things to happen? Why he do this? Why he do that? And a lot of times we don't get that answer, but there'll be t different times where they'll tell you you're going to get the answer, but just stop right now. You, you have to be able to focus on yourself and it's like, how can I focus on myself after what happened? Because this is that, that time where you're going to invent your own peace through this. You're going to be able to discover your hidden power within yourself. You're going to find, a, uh, you're going to peel back all those layers of pain, hurt, abuse, uh, damaged, whatever you feel like you damaged goods and stuff like that, you know, um, you're gonna find all something you're gonna find something so beautiful within you that you're gonna see whatever you went through doesn't define you you know whatever mask somebody put on you is not your real face you know what people say and how they say it and what they whatever narrative they attach to your your person doesn't define you either It's how you find you you know and that's your blessing because you are original nobody can duplicate you no matter if somebody tried to copy you, they can't be you because it's you. That's your hidden power. That's your power, your ultimate power, your ultimate weapon because it's you. You have uh, went through things. You know, even if your life is not good now, 
You know, and I have to remind myself, you know, even when I felt like my life wasn't good and it's good. Even when I got to go through something bad, it's still good because I'm still here. You know, I'm still pushing. I'm still making myself go. You know, even when things just don't feel right. Even when things don't feel fair. It just felt like people got away with stuff they shouldn't have. But then it was just like... You can't keep allowing yourself to worry about them. You can't keep allowing about, you know, allowing yourself to base decision off of what took place in your life. You base decisions on how far you're trying to go, what you're trying to create, what you're trying to become. You are in that form of a vibe where you're trying to be the best person, the best version of yourself. You know, and what happened to you should be that tool, you know, not thinking about you know what they did what this did you know what the situation was but you're using the, the the person i'm damaged i feel like i'm damaged you know i'm trying to find me you know i'm trying to find out who me is because a lot of times we can't find us because we we attach some kind of negative you know uh dictation on or some kind of uh, uh label as to who we were or who we thought we were you know, because a lot of times, like I said in one video, you could be that person where you like, you're lame, you're weak, you're this, you're that. Any kind of thing that just defiles you. Anything that makes you, dehumanizes you. You know, and it will get to that point where you've heard it so much, you, you, you took form into that. And I was just like, at that day, when you get to that day, not, no more. I'm creating myself. Affirmations. I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. I'm amazing. I'm extraordinary. I'm unique. I matter. I have a purpose. I am my purpose, you know, and that's where you start creating yourself as a blessing. Yes, I went through these things, but this is the thing that gave me the advantage that a lot of times we don't realize the painful situations we've gone through gives us an advantage, an incentive to where that you can use that and catapult you in places that you never thought you'd be able to qualify to be in. It'll put you in situations. Your name will be spoken in different places because people hear you. They see you. They vibe with you. They connect with you. And those are the different things that becomes your blessing. If you never went through these things, you wouldn't be a powerhouse that you are to be able to say, I'm not going to allow myself to feel this anymore. Or it, it could have really took you somewhere. It could have really hit you deep in some kind of ways. And when you did that, you know what that felt like. It's like, you know, and it'll be that, that you know, when you're trying to find yourself. And God is unfolding something for you. Like you're your own plot twist and don't know it yet. You're your own cliffhanger. You know. And you're trying to really understand where am I trying to move in my life. Where where can my purpose carry me. What can I be in this vibration of where I'm trying to go. Where is it trying to take me. And it's just like a lot of times we don't know. Well we may have an idea of where we're trying to go. But a lot of times God got a whole different plan. Like he'll get you on that jump start. But then he's going to. When you feel like you don't been at that, that vibration for a, a while. Or been on that path for a while. He'll straight GPS you into a different direction. And then I'll tell you. You got your higher self whispering to you. You know how that felt right. How did it make you feel. How did it make you look at life. How did it make you look at yourself. How did it make you look at the world. If you had your choice to be able to change that, when it comes to other people that have went through the same thing it is that you went through, your story, your experience, your outlook, your intake, what would you what would you allow yourself to do? What would you change in the world to make sure that they never felt that way? And then that'll give you that clarity on why that happened to you. You're, you don't realize a lot of times ooh, you're a saving grace you don't realize that because I just heard saving grace you don't realize how a situation ooh, a situation can damage you so far so deep and you can finally get yourself out of drowning out of pain sorrow madness sadness whatever it is and you get to that point where you're like because i see so many people that are drowning in that and that's why it took me a minute because i felt myself about to start crying i'm like i'll be dead not today <laughs> but going through that and then it gets to that point where when you take that chain off that has drowned you for so long 
you know, create that, you know, because that's what the devil do. It wants you to stay drowned. It wants you to be soaked up. You know, there's a lot of times, you know, the devil will be whispering in your ear. He make you want to drink. He makes you want to smoke. He wants, makes you want to shoot up, pop a pill, do whatever, you know, self-harm, do, do whatever, anything that, that deteriorates you, decays you, you know. But it'll be that time where something will just give you that smack of reality, you know, um, and make you want to jump out of that water, just un unhook the chain because it's like the lock is not, you know, it is a chain and a lock and the lock is not locked on that cement block. It's not. And you finally take yourself out and then when you finally jump out, it's like you you see the fire and you become the phoenix, you become the dragon. And you realize you became that whole blessing of saying, you know, I went through this, I overcome this, I faced that, I endured this, I healed from this, this broke me from this. You know, and then you'll start seeing things from afar. And it's not like you're dwelling on your past, but you're getting an outlook of your past and you're grateful for it. Especially when you get to that point, you're so grateful for it. Um, that you endure these things because you don't realize that that dark moment that you have gone through, that you have endured. And if you're still here, and a lot of times when we have not all the way healed, we, it's hard for us to be grateful for the things that we've gone through because a lot of times you know I can you like you need to be more grateful I'm like grateful for what you know what am I supposed to be grateful for you know I lost so much from this but I've also gained so much you know and it, it, it would be there will be so many things I wish I can change but then it's just like you know I can't allow myself to see my life on so many things was a missed opportunity you know because I've been violated excuse me in so many different ways and there'll be different times I can look back and I'll just burst out in tears over so many things that I was robbed of but then it was just like if I didn't go through this you know I wouldn't be where I am today I wouldn't be helping people the way I did I haven't been I wouldn't have been been able to impact myself impact other people in some kind of crazy way there'll be a lot of times I'm like oh okay I'm just talking the side of my neck but then there'll be so many emails, so many DMs, so many text messages, you know, where I'll get and not realize how just even things that I thought was insignificant can impact somebody in a big way. And it'll show me, see what your purpose is, even though a lot of people don't speak on it, a lot of people don't support you. You're inspiring a lot of people, even the ones that you don't, that don't like you, you know, and you become that blessing. You know, and just being able to know if there are certain things that make you feel like you're cursed, you just really don't understand. It can transform into a big blessing that can carry on for generations and even pass on to other people to create the blessing of their own. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And um, it's all about spiritual networking, being able to, you know, uh, being able to help you, guide you, or just help you, direct you in a perspective of understanding your path of purpose, or even different things you may want to share with me on what you have gone through, and you know, because um, a lot of people are like Rosalind, is this normal for us to go through this? And it's like, hey, I always tell you, like, baby, ain't nothing about us normal, and it's good that I love. That we are not supposed to be fitting in the norm. We, we pose a stand out. You're not made of this world. You know, we're not what was like, what did they say? You're not in this world. You, you I forgot what it is, but y'all know what I'm, if you, you know what you want to say, I'm trying to say, but that's what I meant. But, um, yeah, it's just all about being able to help people in their perspective. It's just like a, a teacher, uh, student situation. We're all learning off of each other. We're all supporting each other in different ways, trying to help us get to that next level of consciousness, you know, being able to help each other heal. So I love to be able to do that. And ever, whatever we speak on is confidential um, and try to help out the best way possible. If you um, are interested in a uh, podcast, I also have my podcast as well on my community page that I share often. Um, if you like to listen to those or even if you think about having a, a future in podcast, you know, please let me know. I'd love to be able to help out because it's like the app that I use is so simple and so easy because it's just like, oh, I'm not tech savvy like that. But it's just like that one is really good. And I love the fact that I can, you know, because I share it on here. I share it on my um, Instagram. I share it on my Facebook as well all my stories on both of them so it, it's just i really love doing it is it's a uh very 
very ther therapeutic platform for me. You know, and other people say the same. That listen to it as well, and I would love to be able to just spread that love and insight with other people. So, um, and oh, if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, the Cash App is there as well too. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, whatever uh, main issue you're working on to bring into your fruition, whatever you're needing, you know, whatever vibe, whatever you know, incentive, you know, I'm sending that towards your way. You know, twenty million times fold. You know, keep going. You know, it's hard to be able to manifest a lot of things in our life. Sometimes it can be easy for people, and there's sometimes it can be very hard for people. It just depends on, you know, what you're doing. If you know you're going full-fledged in there and you're staying going, that means God got plans for you. Keep going. If you need to just take a break for a minute, don't get comfortable. But, you know, hey, take a break for a couple of days or, you know, take a break for a moment. But then allow yourself to jump back on. You know, when, when something is supposed to be good to impact your life in unimaginable ways, that mess is never going to come easy to you. It's just God going to put you through a series of tests that's going to work your very last nerve and your very beginning nerve as well. You know, but then you're going to understand why he did that because he, he wants you to be able to keep on expanding off of that. So you keep going. You keep going. You really, truly have the potential and the greatest currency to be able to do that. So stay persistent and consistent. Don't sleep on yourself. Stay woke. You know, the devil will stay busy. Don't get that dude nothing to do. Tell me he'll lie today and tomorrow and the next year after that, too. So you keep on going because if he try to convince you to give up today, it could be your blessing be opening doors tomorrow. So keep going. Hope you have a blessed, safe day. I know this is Sunday, so I don't know when this video is going to come out. But um, whenever it does, I hope you have a safe, prosperous week. You know, whatever blessings that you need coming towards your way. I hope God continues to bless your journey. Much love to you. Namaste. God bless. Shalom. I say grand risings. Peace.